Hello viewers, I'm your host Bertie, the CEO of PASS, a tax and bookkeeping consulting business in the GTA region of Canada. This video is made for business owners who want to learn basics of QBO as a user, assuming they have support of a professional accountant who maintains their accounting records. In today's video, I will briefly explore some of the key functions of the gear icon in the QBO software. So let us move to today's lesson. So we begin with the gear icon. So we click the gear icon that is located on the top right corner of uh, your QuickBook Online account. So we click it. And as you can see, there is a list of commands that have appeared that we may use. For example, if we just look at them, uh, vertically so on the extreme left side so your company and then there are account and settings manage users custom form style etc etc similarly when you look at the list column you find that all lists products and services recurring transactions and so on and in the tools column there is provision for order checks import data export data reconciliation budgeting and so on and so on so if you just look at i mean all these uh, links we notice that there are a lot of functions that may be performed through the gear icon for example we click the accounts and settings link and another window has opened and of course it shows you the company name what type of company is it contact information address and all that similarly when you click at the bills and subscription link you find that there are different uh, quickbook online subscription options available and you may just pick up the one that may be feasible for your business similarly when you click on the sales link you can customize it sales form contents are there for example preferred invoice terms are net 30 days you may convert it to 15 days or five days or three days as the case may be then similarly if you want to offer certain discounts which are off for the time being you may switch it on and that you may offer discount to your customers then about products and services their SKU numbers columns and all that similarly on the expenses side you have bills and expenses and you need to I mean change all that it says that show items table on expense and purchase form this is on show tax field on expenses and purchase form this is also on track expenses item by customer this is off you just switch it on so it's going to track all expenses and items by customer so what customers are buying from you which customers purchase how much etc etc so there's a lot of information content and you can enable it or I mean disengage it or put it off depending upon your Choice. Similarly, when you look at the payments, so you you, you can do it in, in relation to uh, the QuickBook Online basically provide you the certain fastest mode of receiving payments from your clients. And then, of course, in the advance, you know what, what accounting fiscal year you are using. For example, is the calendar year or some other year for your chart of accounts and different categories of expenses, automation, etc. So we'll explore all these things. Uh, in detail in some other video for the timing we are just exploring the gear icon so another important uh, i mean uh, content that may be of uh, relevance to you is the chart of accounts so if you just click at the chart of accounts it's a long list of accounts name what type of account is it detail type tax rate quickbook balance bank balance etc et all it, it all appear so it means in the chart of accounts you can add any new account that may be relevant to your business and then you can add all the details so we'll look into chart of accounts in more detail in some other video but this is one very important uh, thing that the users of uh, quickbook online must know that what is the utility of chart of account and how they can affect your reporting in the quickbook online so we just move to list column then there is a products and services so if you want to add any products or services what you can do simply 
click on add a product or service that we'll explore in another video and you can add a product so of course it's details and if you are just rendering certain services you can enter a service for your clients and all these will become part and parcel of the quickbook online so whenever you have sold any such product or you have rendered any service so it's price it's the tax that you have charged on it hst etc will all be there so now we look at uh, for example another important uh, factor of course import data and export data you may be familiar with that that quickbook online provides you a feature that i mean you you can import data from uh, other applications especially i mean if you have certain data lying in your desktop or for example your, your laptop and similarly you can export quickbook online data to other applications and software etc now there is one uh, uh, important uh, provision uh, is budgeting so budgets for example if you just click on this it says add a budget so we know that budgets are very powerful uh, planning and controlling tool so it is advisable for all quickbook users that uh, as a small the owner of small business you must prepare a budget because so far as my experience is concerned, I noticed that a large number of clients, they are reluctant to prepare budgets, and rather they don't understand the utility of a budget. I'll have a detailed video on budgets, but budgets, once you prepare a budget, then you can measure your actual performance against this budget. And if there are any variances, you can control them accordingly. So this is a very powerful tool available in QuickBook Online. Similarly, you may reconcile your QuickBook balances with your bank balances, credit card balances. So when you, you click on the reconcile budget, this ordered log serves another important purpose. So whenever somebody is going to log into your account, so all the details will be recorded in the ordered log. So you precisely know that if you are given authorization, for example, to your accountant or your bookkeeper or some of your staff member, so how much work they have done when at what particular time they logged into the system what changes they have made etc etc so this audit log is basically a very important audit trail basically and whosoever has done anything in the quickbook online of your company's account you can trace every action from audit log so with this i believe uh, this brief introduction is over so we'll explore all these things in detail uh, later i hope you enjoyed this video for bookkeeping and tax services you may call us at 289-952-3494 or send us an email at accountants at pascat.com or you may like to visit our website at www.pascat.com thank you for watching